Hi, my name is Alicia, Customer Success Advocate here at Solutions PT. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to make a license request on your Aviva Flex portal. So let's begin. Okay, so once you have logged on to your portal, as you may know, you are met with this overview screen. This is your homepage where you have access to a range of tabs from your credit consumption, agreement information, requests and licenses. Before you do go on to initiate your request, you can actually go on to the product section and here you can review all of the products that you have available to you within your Flex portal. And you actually have access to a lot of the Aviva portfolio. And this is extremely useful for trying out new products as well as keeping up to date with the latest technology. So as you can see here, you have the list of all of the products available to you with their part number, as well as its associated annual credit cost on the right hand side. You can actually click on this small arrow on the right, and this actually gives you a little bit of more information of what's included within each specific license as well. Okay, so once you have selected the correct license that you wish to download, you can then go back to the home page and go to the create license request button on the top right of your screen. You then select the site that you wish to associate that license with and select add item. This will then bring a pop up of all of the licenses that you can request and you can filter the licenses by product category such as historian or you can simply search by name or part number. And again, same as before, the small drop down arrow lets you see the item details and you can also favorite licenses if you are downloading them multiple times. And this just saves you looking for them each time that you wish to download that license. Okay, so once you have selected the license that you do wish to download, you would select the quantity and the start date and add any internal comments or serial numbers that you would like to track the license by. You would also then select the checkbox in the top left. Um, from then, you can actually add any information in the license request comment box. And this is just to let anyone know why you have downloaded the license or for any auditing or tracking purposes. Um, there is also this customer reference box as well. This is extremely useful um, to help identify what the license will be used for in your environment, such as a specific area or project and whether that license is for development or for production. So we really do recommend that you fill this out. Next, you would add it to the list, check that you are happy with the details. And if you would like to add another license to this request, you would then click the add item button and then repeat the process again. Okay, so once you are happy to submit your request, you would select the orange send request button on the top right. If you don't want to send the request just yet, you can select the save as draft button and this allows you to save this request and send it at a later time. Once submitted, you can track your request by going on the home screen and clicking on the request tile. Here you can actually track each stage that your request sits in. Um, the draft tile is all of the requests that you have saved as drafts internally. The submit tile is for when you submit a license request and once Aviva do pick up your license request to action it, it will then move on to the in progress tile. The approval tile is for if you have set up an internal approval process and this will reside here until your approver has approved it. Once Aviva approves the license request, it will move on to the completed bucket and you will receive an email that the request has been approved. If you click on any of these tabs, you actually get a breakdown of each individual request, which you can then export as a CSV and keep for traceability. So once your license request has been completed by Aviva, it will actually be available to you to download under the licenses tile here on your home screen. You will see a list of all the licenses that are available to you. And if you click on the blue serial number on the left associated with your request, it will actually navigate you to this page. Here you will see all of the request information and you can then download the license here on this link. 
You can also see the download history for who has downloaded the license in the past. And again, this makes it really useful for traceability as well as for auditing purposes as well. If we go back, we can actually um, initiate a return on the license as well. This will return the license to Aviva. And once you return the license, you will actually stop burning down the credits on that license and you will be required to deactivate it within your system. So this is the end of the video. I hope you've learned um, how to draw down your licenses as well as return them um, within your Aviva Flex portal. Thank you so much and please subscribe for more. Until next time.